Once you choose hope, anything is possible. The hope might not be that eventually it will just all disappear like a fairy tale, but the hope is that you'll have the strength to endure and go through whatever that journey is. I was diagnosed in August 2010 with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The worry of relapse is always on your mind when you have cancer. I met Benny and we were enjoying life. I was in remission and then on Valentine's Day 2014, he had cooked me a beautiful dinner and I touched my right neck and I noticed a lump. When she relapsed, it was very devastating. Just to hear that, I didn't understand it at all. It was the exact same cancer, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. My doctor told me immediately we needed to start salvage chemotherapy. It wasn't working. The cancer was tripling. It was leaving me with very serious side effects, and some of them I still have today. While I was in a clinical trial and receiving combination chemotherapy, my doctor had mentioned immunotherapy as also an option. And my mom immediately went home, and she started researching it. Using your own immune system to fight cancer just made so much more sense. We were very excited about it. And so immediately I told my oncologist that I wanted to pursue that. And so I did fly with my mother to Seattle, Washington to meet with Dr. Maloney. We had an open clinical trial evaluating CD19 specific CAR T cells for people with leukemia, ALL, uh, CLL, and with uh, lymphoma. CAR T cell therapy is kind of the latest uh, cool thing in uh, cancer therapy, and, and it's basically taking out your normal T cells. And they engineer them um, to have special receptors that will go and recognize the particular type of cancer that I had. We give you back these T cells, and then those T cells will grow and hopefully go seek out the tumor cells and kill them, and then they essentially let go and go kill another one. On one side, the, the risk of her disease was about 100%. There were very few options that would have been able to get her back into any kind of a remission. So then the risk of the treatment is a bit of an unknown, but it's something that you have to decide for yourself. Really, it was just the hope that it brought for us, a clinical trial. Maybe this could work. Maybe this could give me the gift of more time. Maybe it could cure me. I knew that no matter what I would do, I would try my best to fight because I had a lot to live for. My immediate support team is my family. They've all been with me throughout all my cancer journeys. My little nephews bring much joy to us, as well as my brother's three kids. Right before we started immunotherapy, my family gathered together and supported me by wearing their Choose Hope t-shirts. We wore it on the day that I had my infusion for CAR T cells because we were choosing hope that it would work. The most anticipated thing that you hope would happen after you receive your CAR T cells is the cytokine release syndrome. It feels like you have a bad flu, and, and what this is is an inflammatory response. After about five days, I got released to daily outpatient monitoring. A week after that, Benny and I were going to visit the Space Needle and go on the Seattle Ferris wheel, and those are things that are unheard of after standard chemotherapy protocols. I was really, really amazed that Kristen was able to kind of resume her life after about two weeks after the immunotherapy. I just celebrated my three years of remission. We truly believe, my family and I, that immunotherapy has gotten me to where I am today, that I wouldn't still be here had I not undergone that treatment to eradicate the cancer cells. When you see patients go into complete remission with just literally weeks to live, then you become a believer that this is truly something astounding. Clinical trials is where you're gonna get like the most recent medical breakthroughs that are happening in research. Immunotherapy is really the future, I believe. Cancer Research Institute is supporting clinical trials and they are saving patients' lives. I just want to say thank you for giving me that chance so that I could still be here today.